Hello everyone and welcome to another Maricopa Unified School District Maintenance and Operations Override Backstory. In this video, I'll give you a refresher on what the override is and give you comments on the results of the November 2nd election so far. The override was voter approved in 2016, so it is not a new tax or a tax increase. It allows them to use $5 million towards keeping class sizes small, funding technology, and keeping RAM Academy going. MUSD isn't the only school using overrides. MUSD is currently in their fifth year of the seven-year override. They want to continue the override this year so they won't start losing funds next year. If the current 10% override isn't approved, it will go away entirely in 2024. The loss of funding would cause the elimination of RAM Academy, teacher and staff reduction, and reduce the ability to invest in student and instructional technology. The results for approving or not approving the override are close. MUSD understands that the Pinal County Elections Department has over 600 votes needing to be counted still. It could take until Friday before they know the official results. The district says they remain hopeful that the override funding will continue so they don't have to reduce their technology, remove RAM Academy, or increase their class sizes. At the City Council meeting, also on November 2nd, Councilmember Henry Wade thanked everyone who got involved in the election and exercised their, quote, right as an American citizen. He said if the vote was positive or negative, they would still be positive. Thank you all for watching this backstory. Please look for more updates on the election online at pinalcentral.com and follow us on Instagram.